what's up everybody? Tony with our VTRV Rentals. Wanted to do a quick video with you real quick um, on how to clean the black tanks because that's obviously the worst part of doing the RV rentals. That's why I've made sure and never done it myself personally. So just want to give you a quick piece of advice is uh, obviously, you know, nobody wants to handle the black tank of somebody else. So what I've always done is I pack in my rental price uh, a substantial cleaning fee because you don't have to and yeah you might not be the first one to get rented but the people who don't charge a cleaning fee they'll get rented and there's still plenty of rental uh people pe you know people willing to rent it out for you um because there's just so much business for the rental so i would charge extra i would charge an, a substantial cleaning fee and then i would get somebody good that you trust or you know you probably have to go through a few people like i've had to go through quite a few people but i got my guy i don't know if you can hear it in the thing but he's actually rinsing out the black tanks and the sensors and getting all that stuff off and then put like uh, a cup of dawn dish soap in there so he's actually filling up the black tank with the hose with a bunch of dawn dish soap in there and that's supposed to help eat all the crud off the sides and that and then, I mean, I have him rinse it out with water like every time he dumps the tanks, but then also you need to do it where you fill it up by hand, put in Dawn dish soap and let that eat all the gunks off that. And then if you have stuff stuck on your sensors, like my sensors like never work, like since the first time, since the first time we used it, the sensors were always broke, but they have these things usually at the dump stations or at least the RV ones, it's kind of like, it's got like three tongs on it or something and uh, it goes in there and it squirts the sensor off that's the best thing we found to uh clear the sensors off because our, our sensors almost never have ever worked so um <clears throat> and then i found i found the best place to get guys to hire is like a regular handyman or uh my new guy here who, who's actually probably been the best one i've had so far uh was actually a car wash guy and he's like a handyman part-time so you need somebody that's like a handyman part-time who can fix stuff and then just charge enough in your rental to be able to pay them a good amount where they're making good money and then they can take care of a lot of that stuff for you and you have a backup in case you have rentals going back and forth back and forth or or um, going out back to back or if you have multiple vehicles you know once you get past two it's gonna it's gonna get pretty busy um especially you know during the season you know if you're off season obviously it's not that bad but you want to you want to have somebody who can help you around um you know not, nothing to do with the rental part is that you know like i have a cleaning lady she cleans it every time I, but then you still got to inspect them because you know they let it slip sometimes and you know even though they think they're doing a good job they're you know really not especially if you want a hotel clean like most people expect when they're renting these things out and then you gotta find a good car wash guys some of these car wash places are just astronomically expensive when i first bought it i mean they wanted like 150 200 you know just uh, absurd amounts of money uh to wash the outside and that gets a little cost prohibitive to do it after every after every rental and i like mine washed after every rental outside and inside as i would expect if i were to pay that much money for a rental so um <clears throat> And definitely make sure and pack that in your price don't be afraid of charging huge amounts 250 300 400 you know 150 to 500 dollars is, isn't too unreasonable and especially if you're going to pay people a right wage or what they deserve or who are what uh, pay them what they're willing to do it for you know you want to go ahead and do that uh, so that's just my tip for the day make sure and get your uh, cost covered and then get um <clears throat> make sure you have a helper so when things go wrong you have somebody who can help you have somebody who can help deliver it take it to the shops and all that and i just wanted to say yeah if you have problems with the black tank that's the best thing we found is that little wand to get the sensors off and then also filling it up from the inside in the black tank and then putting the dish soap in letting it sit for a day or so or he's not going to be able to let it sit that long but he's going to drive it over there and then empty it out and then rinse it out so that's kind of our tip for the day we had our first accident on the little class crv they got sideswiped uh, or well maybe they did but it looked like a pole that they hit but whatever uh, we can only go off what they say and it got sideswiped and then i found uh an auto dent mechanic guy and i had his number so always keep on the lookout for numbers of people you know car wash got handyman uh, body repair people I always have a Rolodex already set up so when something happens you can quick made a move I texted this guy boom boom we have a rental going out seven days later so it was on Monday I texted him boom I said I need it fixed by Saturday he should have it fixed I'm hoping it's there right now so we'll see 
And, uh, oh, well, babysitter's here. We've got to take the wife on a date afternoon. So just thought I'd make a quick video for you guys while well, I had that here just to go over the black tank and things to uh, watch out for with the RV rentals. And then make sure you're taking pictures before each rental. I just, on this accident one, I forgot to take pictures before. So I have my assistants now set tasks for me to the day before take pictures inside and outside of the vehicle. Um, even a video is even better and you can file that as well. Um, but and then you have to have like if you're renting through outdoorsy you have to have 90 day inspection form so do not forget that because I'm sure they will deny, de deny your claim if you don't have those readily available. And I use this company called Wrench Mobile Mechanics. It's an app, wrench.com, and they have people that'll come to your house and service it for not much more. And then they have uh, uh, proof of everything they did so you can log in their app and then you can just print it out so you have verification of all the oil changes and everything you had done and then I think you can just fill out the form and stuff it, it, it wasn't very specific it said fill out this form so I think you could it looked like you could just fill it out yourself so that's what I did I used companies for all that and then I just filled out the form so hopefully that'll work but yeah make sure you keep good records on all this stuff make sure you have that in case of an accident you do need all that stuff and their their process has been very simple I mean we file the insurance claim they texted us you just submit all the pictures right away uh, you submit all the paperwork right away and uh, yeah it was very easy I was very impressed and then they said it takes them two to four days to get the estimate and then they mail you a check so it can't be that hard so just want to let you guys know do a quick video for that I gotta take my beautiful wife out here for a little date and uh, all right you guys take care God bless